What's up guys, this is another LEGO 2012 City Review of the Garbage Truck Set number 4432, ages 5 to 12, 208 pieces at nearly 10 cents per piece, and with two minifigs. And here it is. What a beauty. This set is a new release, just came out last week and is available at your local LEGO store. Um, this set is a pretty much a an update to the 2007 Garbage Truck. Which is a nice set, don't get me wrong, but this is a an apple to grape, yet it is a wonderful design and looks very, very modern. Now let's take a close-up look at this fine masterpiece. The uh, This is the uh, cab piece, which, well, <laughs> it's it has its uh, lights on top and some details and a little bit of a railing. But here is the uh, cabin, very simple design. You have one minifig and another minifig, a male worker and a female worker. Of course, I went humorously with the uh, Greater Philadelphia Users Group at Festival of the Masters and put the female one in the back. But yeah, I don't want to piss off our ladies here. Um, this this truck is built to a uh, two submodel strand. We have the first submodel, which is the cab, and the second submodel, which is the trailer. The uh, first submodel has its uh, mirror assembly and everything, and has a, a different has a decal element for the uh, front grills. And the back here is the uh, trailer. We have here the uh, underside, which is the same on the other side. So don't mind. Well, I guess I'll show you it. A bit of laziness catching up on me. Post Disney blast syndrome, as they called. Um, so here's the other side, which, which actually has its single exhaust pipe. There should be two, but I guess they're cutting costs. And back here we have the, uh, we have a broom and a shovel. Well, more like a, yeah, a, sho a shovel. I guess it's to clean up the trash. And we have a green garbage can, and back here in, uh, a, a gray one. And here's the event brick for Festival of the Masters. The back element, is, I mean the uh, recycled can, isn't really designated to have any garbage, though I think the other one has the uh, brown and yellow and tan pieces. And inside we have quite a few interesting pieces of trash. In the distance there are some bananas and fish, and nearby you can see the extra pieces from the set, which I stuck in after uh, building it in Orlando. So this set actually made history for me. It's the first set I've ever built on event at, at Festival of the Masters. It's interesting how they have the um, clear, uh, the smoke element up front here on the bottom. It adds a nice variation to detail and I believe it's a creative element. Now I was told that it's kind of realistic for one of the garbage trucks. I believe someone said that it was reminiscent of the ones from Europe. And the back here lifts up like this. And we come to one of the biggest design flaws which is incredible space between um, yeah, you can see it between the back and the uh, mid deck. You could actually drop trash when loading it. I'm going to get to that in the ratings. And you could just pick this up. It's another contraption which is actually controlled by the wheel on the other side. It's like a handbrake in the train cars. Um, yeah, but of course, you want to have your can open, but for display purposes, I kept it closed. Each has its own grab iron. So the. Uh, so the second collector can hold on and this does not rotate but it looks like it does but it ha it's a very good resource of elements for me anyway and all these round uh, things I could be doubling up on the set and building the uh, an airplane at this rate we already have a section of fuselage right here um, we, yeah, the mirrors are a different design they're using click hinges and double cheese wedge um, I like it and, and then meanwhile speaking of which and the other in the uh, camper and car, you have the uh, click hinge as the actual mirror, so it's it's all different. They're, they're trying different things. I'm impressed with that. And now I'm going to be showing you one very interesting thing that Jeff Lug has found very interesting and much more strong. That's right, children. Lego has produced a brand new hinge element. Here we go. This hinge is a two by four, two by four section. You can. I mean, this side is meant to be open, so it's like a half stud, I guess. So you have two interlocking sides, and here you get to close it out. It's a one-plate spacing, so you can make this side stronger. So this side is going to fall, and I believe it was a hinge like this. I mean, it was not 
this, but it was a hinge in this position that caused the other set to be a little flawed in design because it could break in two very easily. Um, so I'm impressed with that particular add-on, and I'd like to see it in future sets. It could really help a lot in City. I don't know which sets in particular, but it, I swear it can help. Um, another thing that you may have noticed by now is that the set comes with bright green elements. That's right, bright green. You can see the green up here um, in the garbage in the recycling can and the bright green here. The bright green 6x12 gave it away when it was leaked that it could be bright green because I know that LEGO has had a staple producing 6x12 in that color. When I saw the uh, leaks and all it seemed to have agreed with that consensus and voila here it is. You can get, I believe, up to four 1x2 bricks and four panels, two 1x4 tiles, and two 1x2x3 two slopes in this set. I'm going to get to that in the parts rating, as well as several other new elements, such as these brand new 1x4 tiles with double studs. And that closes out your uh, close-up, because the only other close-up detail I can get is if I knock this set down, which I don't want to do. To close ourselves out to a ratings time, I'm going to be giving this set for playability an 8 out of 10 because it's very playable. You could do so much. And I'm sure there are a couple maybe minor limits. Like, I guess you, I don't know if I mean, there isn't a way to really lift this up to dump the trash. I guess it'll do it automatically. But unlike the other one, I don't believe there are many provisions for dumping this. So you can't really control that. You just have to lift it, like, whatever. For looks of the set, it's going to be a 9. Very modern, very attractive. I think it's realistic. Um, I've seen, in, even though someone said that it was European, I think that I've seen a very similar design here in Miami. So, there you go. Um, I like how it has this curved look. It's definitely a different approach because most of them are rib side. So, the smooth cylindrical effect is very nice and something I could really appreciate. Um, in in the uh, uh, parts price to piece ratio, it's a 10 out of 10, perfect 10 cents per piece. You can't do any better than than that with these with this color, this shade of green. It's nice to have different colors. So it's a new golden era, once again. Uh, parts application rating that's going to be a seven, because this is just flat out screwed up. I'm sorry, Lego, but I don't like this idea. Well, not that, but take a look at this. I showed you this in the close-up. There's a big fat hole, and actually when I try dumping trash in, it all falls out. So, not a, not, not a good way to go. I would have been a little less lazy, put in that red 1x4 panel, 1x4 uh, by, by 4 element, on top, like a red or the equivalent of red, like black here in this case, on top of a brick to close that gap. I do not like that idea, but... I mean, I do not like this idea, but otherwise, it's okay. It's tolerable. But otherwise, the parts are applied very nicely to create a stronger truck. I like that new hinge. That's a big plus, but the rest, and but that is a big fat minus. Uh, for uh, part selection, what can I say? 10 out of 10. You get very useful elements for your city. You could build airplanes with these pieces. You can do whatever you want. You get good colors. And for the average uh, rating of the set, it's going to be a 8.8 .8 out of 10. I recommend this set to everyone. Um, it's very nice for adults. Very not juniorized, <laughs> if you will. Um, the parts are what you see in the normal city sets. I'm glad they're branching out this way and they're not making things look so babyish after all. So that's it for your review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. TE out.